Hey, it's a beautiful evening here in Southeast Tennessee, and uh, this is day 14 of our kitchen garden, our weed-free, easy, working man's garden. And I'm gonna show you what's come up, and how it's looking, and uh, got a couple of problems we're gonna deal with, and uh, then we're gonna do some fertilizing all in this one video. So uh, we'll start over here with the, uh, this is squash. And uh, I think we had 100% germination on this. It looks really good. Now you might have a weed like right here. Now I've not done nothing in here. And uh, you see how it comes up by the root? I've not done nothing to this garden since we planted it besides I watered tomatoes one time and uh, done nothing else. I'm not putting fertilizer or anything in there. So this will be my first fertilizer and the first thing maintenance we ever, we've done to it for the year. So this is our squash and it looks really good. We've got four heels of it. And then here's our bell peppers. And we actually have some blooming down here. And then we got some that's sitting. Right here's a little pepper. Right there. That's a little pepper coming up. So, uh, now when I planted these, I planted this one too deep, if you remember. And I said it won't do as good, so. Right here it is. And look at all the other ones. It's a lot bigger. That's all right, it'll, it'll produce, I'm just saying it'll, it'll take a little longer to get caught up. So the next row we got green beans, and uh, this is one of the problems, I think something combined eat one of them. And so uh, we're gonna replant those in just a minute. And I got a little bug pressure back here on this one. Right here. Right here, it's the bug pressure. So, if it's just that one, I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now. I'll keep an eye on it. I won't come out here and have it all devastated. So, we'll keep an eye on that. And this one, we're not gonna worry about too much. And uh, next things are tomatoes. And you can see how they're doing. They're doing great. And I got a bloom on this one over here. Right here. Then we got another row of tomatoes. And I don't know if you remember these tomatoes when we put them in there, they're just barely above the fabric, but look at them now. So if you remember though, I did fertilize this before I planted a couple times and worked it into the soil. And you can go back and watch videos on that when we did that. So a couple more tomatoes here. Peas have come up. So uh, this is the first time we've grown peas. And then the last row is zucchini. So it looks really good. Now we got about seven inches of rain about two days ago. So this ground is really saturated with water. So I think that's a really pretty good time to fertilize because it won't take the water. It won't take the fertilizer. It'll take the fertilizer better, I think. So uh, what I want to do is replant that one hill and I'll show you how I do that. I'll get some beans. And it'll come up and they'll catch up eventually. So uh, just make sure you're using the same variety. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make a little hole and put them in there. Not a big deal. I think I'm gonna put a couple more right here too. And right there's a weed. So that's my first weed of this garden that I've weeded. So uh, that's all I'm gonna really worry about right now as far as replanting everything else looks good. So uh, I'm gonna talk about fertilizing and then uh, we'll start with tomatoes. Now I'm not gonna you see how tall these things are. I'm not gonna give these any more nitrogen. What I'm going to hit them with is a 0 10 10. And it's a, this is an organic product. But you know, if you're not using organic, I said bean, I missed them. If you're using something like Miracle Glow, Miracle Grow, I would use like the Bloom. Like it's like a 10 40, 6, 4, 30 something. So, and you can use that for everything here. 
use a miracle grow that's, that's once your plants come up and get kind of good and established that's what i when i used to use miracle grow that's what i would use to bloom so but i've kind of switched around a little bit so this is called more bloom it's a zero ten ten it's organic so i'm gonna hit this with the tomatoes and it's about one tablespoon per gallon and i've already got the water in there gonna give them a good gulch. All right, so let's hit the peppers next. All right, the peppers, I'm using another organic uh, fertilizer. I'm actually using two. I'm using the one I had before, the 0 10, 10 and I'm gonna mix it with the 5-1-1. So I don't know if that gives me a 5-11-11. I called the company and asked them about it, and uh, they said they're not supposed to mix them, so I'm mixing them. I did all last year and it did well, so. But I want to give these just a little bit of nitrogen. Now see, here's another problem I got. I got an anthill coming up in these. And uh, I got some uh, stuff I can put on it. It's made for vegetable gardens. I can't remember what it's called right off hand, so that's uh I'll put that in there. I use this the uh, first time I fertilize my plants that I grow in the greenhouse I use this fish fertilizer and it's I went in the next day, oh my gosh, it was horrid the smell I'm talking about. <laughs> so don't use it indoors. Uh, I use it down I used it all last year down at the high tunnels and it never bothered me but when there it's just uh, i don't know all right i'm gonna mix some up for the others and uh, i'm gonna use something a little different for it i'm using a 20 20 20 and it kind of looks like miracle grow but it ain't it's a uh, southern ag product and it's got four different kinds of nitrogen in it and that's what i like about it it's got uh, i can't remember all right now uh, uh, nitrates uh urea anyway i can find out what it is but i've just my bag is so old it deteriorates and I've got it in a coffee can. So I don't use a whole lot of it, but I'm gonna use it on these zucchini, the beans and the, uh, the squash, the zucchini and the beans and the peas. Cause I think I need a little more nitrogen, especially just getting started. So I'm gonna mix that up. It's basically the same thing. I think it's one tablespoon per gallon. So I'm gonna mix it up and we'll come back and look at it. So this is a 20, 20, 20. And I don't mix it all that strong either. One good thing about the organic fertilizer, you don't have to worry about burning your plants. So, now you can with this, but I mix it kind of on the lean side. Just enough. Alrighty, that's it. Uh, let's 
So I probably spent, I don't know, 15 minutes here, if that much. And it takes a little longer when you're having to talk to it and make a video. So really about 10 minutes or so. And uh, now I've not weighed this not one time, like I said before. And uh, we've not done nothing to it. I just mow around it. Uh, I check it when I go by. And uh, like I said, if you want an easy garden, this is the way to do it. It's not overwhelming. It's not all that big, but we're going to get a lot of produce out of this. And uh, we'll keep you keep you going every two weeks and uh, now go back and watch if you're just starting out go back and watch you just can't lay this fabric over grass and start planting now you have to you know prepare the soil just like you would a regular garden and just put this over and I can take you over to the uh, uh, well I can take you down there when we plant corn the other day and let you see what it looks like without uh, weed fabric and uh, we'll probably go down there in another video but I already got weeds coming up so you know, that was like seven days ago. Corn's coming up. If you watch today, if you watch the video, and the uh, corn's coming up in about seven days, and uh, the weeds are right there with it. So, uh, this right here, we're not doing nothing to. That's why I call it the easy garden. And uh, I don't want to say lazy because there's nothing lazy about it. We're growing our own food here, and you can too. I just want to make it easy for you. This is the way I think, uh, think you should try, especially a beginner garden. So, Hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down there if you got a question. You see somebody didn't like, you didn't like, just leave a comment. We'll talk about it. I answer all comments and emails. So you can send me an email too. So give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I need some subscribers. And uh, support your local farmer. It's just about farmer's market time now. So find your local farmer. At least go get you some good eggs like we sell. And uh, uh, it's just some good pasture raised eggs. I checked them at the store yesterday. We're cheaper than the, than our uh, supermarket on eggs. So find you find you a good farmer. He'll give you some good stuff. Anyway, it's Coach Local Farmer, and uh, we'll see you down in the next video.